from South Florida. Zero Suit versus Lucas. I'm expecting this to be the deal the whole way through. Yep. Really don't project either of these guys switching characters. And this is either a button check or some very elaborate neutral, but I think it's the former. Oh, the, the patience is unreal. <laughs> <laughs> they have both established their sides of the stage. Look at those pokes from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now um, we got Zero Suit versus Lucas. Uh, I mean, I'll be real with you. Mars does show a lot of Zero Suit, but Zero Suit is still a pretty unpopular character in my opinion, just 100%. throughout like, the uh, the current meta. Um, in so where I'm from, SoCal, there's a decent amount of Zero Suits, but other than that, even just in other regions, I don't see too much Zero Suits in, in a lot of the PRs or just in the, most of the streams. Nah, she's very underplayed, especially compared to her Smash 4 self. Of course, right. losing the ladder combo kind of took a little bit of the edge off of this character for lots right. of people, and including even Nairo, who is really taking... Um, not much of a liking to her at all in this game. We did yeah. see the Zero Suit come out in his double sets yesterday, but I think today it's been all Paula Zana for singles. Yeah, definitely oh, took a huge hit on her offensive capabilities, but her defensive capabilities got better, if not even more magnified in this game because of the how hard disadvantage is in this game. It makes Flip Kick even better, I just feel like. It just feels like an even better move to get out of those sticky situations. Lucas, another character, kind of a under the radar character in Smash 4, had a lot of the grab combos, but plays a lot different. I actually think Lucas isn't as good as he was in Smash 4 because yeah. losing those grab combos, it was a, it was a very polarizing character. If, if you got grabbed, you would get messed up from Lucas. I'm going to have to agree. I think both of these characters just took a steep dive in the output that they can do offensively. But Lucas did gain a really, really good PK freeze in this game. Yes. And some double jump cancel Zare stuff as well. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see exactly how that's all able to play out. Of course, Choco Taco played the same character in Smash 4. So, you know, adjustment period aside, I think he's going to be very familiar, especially six months into Ultimate now. Oh, yeah, exactly. And, you know, you talk about the Zare string. It's pretty cool to see. It's It it feels like, I mean, it looks really cool. Oh, dang, that's your stock. That's your life. The upbeat. Yep. No one falling out of that one in this game too much. I've seen it maybe once or twice. The game's been out for, like, five, six months, but pretty it consistent. Move. A little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, it's certainly better than it was in Smash 4 in terms of consistency. I feel like the knockback's taking a bit of a hit. Up Smash, though, on the other hand, way stronger now. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Mars. both... Just Both these savage off stage, man. Yeah, I, he always wants it, right? Like, Mars always wants to go deep. He's very offensive, and Flip Kick makes it so he can go so hard off stage. And that's, I think, one thing that, one reason he's just stuck with the Zero Suit. He, he's able to play his game, and he was definitely more of a, like, edge guarding Zero Suit in Smash 4, anyways. Yeah, it's a character who has no problems getting back to the stage, as long as you're not there to intercept her, of course, Flip Kick. Partially invincible, but if you are able to intercept the peak of the jump, then that could be really bad for you. And Choco Taco, it's looking pretty bad for him. Almost going down two stocks in this match. Just barely clinging her life off of that boost kick. Yeah, is there, or it just seems like Mars has all, like everything on his side of the board. I mean, he's just in the driver's seat. Choco Taco not being able to really start up anything. And even if he does, it's just one flip kick and Mars is back where he wants to be. Right, gonna hop over with the flip kick again. Flip jump, rather. It's only the kick when you press oh, B another time. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, the directional air dodge. That's one thing about Lucas and Ness, or just the Onyx characters in general. They have really good air drift, so their directional air dodge is really, really good. Oh, no tipper, but I mean, he was center stage, so. Yeah, gonna bust out the stick. This actually, I don't even know the name of that move. Yeah, the stick? Yeah, that's <laughs> actually his starter weapon in Mother 3. That's so funny. Yeah, I actually don't even know if there's a tipper on. I, it might just be a consistent hitbox. Oh, directional air dodge will get punished. Very handy frame one jab there. Fra fastest uh, jab in the game along with Little Mac. Yeah, tied for fastest move, obviously. Can't be faster than one, I guess. Yeah, man. true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this move's half a frame, though. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. All right, Togo Taco struggling here, playing from behind pretty much the entire game. He was keeping it pretty close at the beginning, but once Mars takes a stock on you, man, he's just able to push that advantage so hard. Ooh, All right, nice finally gonna meet him halfway, yeah. Yeah, and that, the one thing about Mars, even with the lead here, he's like pretty much staying in that mid-range. Not necessarily like hard committing. Oh man, that hard commitment there with the pivot grab will get him killed. The up throw, I mean, Lucas is still definitely having those kill throws available to him. The up throw, the back throw. Yeah, certainly. Just no longer can you do down throw up air at a very wide range of percents. Oh yes, bless, bless that. I, yes, I did same, not. Shout out to Sakurai, man. <laughs> I did not have a good time. <laughs> All right, Choco Taco trying to establish something here. He just gets one straight fair, but nothing off of it. Oh, there's the PK freeze. Definitely a tool that you know we did highlight in the beginning of this set, but it's just so hard to get on Zero Suit. Zero Suit being so slippery off stage, and that's where usually Lucas will take advantage of that PK freeze. Oh, and Mars, no fear whatsoever. <laughs> he knew he could line that up. Of course, 
Lucas' PK Thunder taking quite a while to circle all the way around himself. Yeah. So good on Mars for realizing that was the opportune moment to just trade stocks and close it out. And I think he actually ended up surviving at the end too. Yeah, so I think uh, two stock. They uh they changed that move in a sense where the opponent usually dies first. Right. Um, there there are some windows where the zero suit will die first, but for the most part in this game, uh, you can go for that even with even stocks if you're confident and you nail it, you you will win the game. Mars is the dude who would do that. Oh yeah, for He'd sure. He did that in Smash Four like all the time. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mars definitely um, a little bit more wild, especially when he gets momentum on his side. He really starts feeling himself. And for the good or for the not so good, we'll go for those confident plays. And most of the time it'll work out, but so sometimes definitely flop as well. But yeah, I mean, Lucas, we, we highlight that this character has a really good recovery. We saw the recovery exploited right there. But I think one of the uh, more consistent parts of Lucas's recovery is going to be that Zare. It's going to be the Zare to the ledge. And we saw Choco Taco abuse that more so than the up B, but Mars put him in a sticky situation, was forced to use the up B, and we saw Mars take all advantage of that PK Thunder. Yeah, that was a pretty rough game one. Two stock, very low percent. Mars taking that unnecessary risk with the paper grab that pretty much was the only reason he lost the stock. Yeah. And this is why this guy is, I'd say at this point, a shoe in for top 10. Looking like potentially top five. So many wins under his belt recently. Second place at Kamal last weekend. I think he has one of the best spreads against like the top 10, the top 20 that are in contention right now. He, his, he is either even with everyone or like maybe down a, a set. Versus, at worst. Yeah, and yeah. that's absolutely insane. He, I feel like he's one of the more consistent players, especially with a character like Zero Suit. He's pretty much the only one really doing it with that character. Exactly. You know what's crazy is that Mars never was able to crack into the top 10 PGR in Smash 4 when his character was better. But now you see just kind of the more balanced roster of this game. Really working wonders for him. Doesn't have oh, to yeah. run into Bayonetta's clouds, Diddy Kongs that shut his character down super hard. Yeah, and I mean, to be fair, I think he could have easily gotten top 10, but he was definitely a player that just didn't have as much opportunities and not a lot of things, were, especially towards the end of the game, a lot of things were just happening more so on the West Coast. So it, it was hard for him to get out there and get those opportunities. I think if he traveled enough, he would have been a shoe in for top 10. And of course, due to the sponsorship of Panda Global, he's going to be able to make it out to a lot more stuff. Yes, thank Showing goodness. Showing up big here at Momocon, winner's side top 128 already. But Choco Taco still hanging on to this first stock. Things are looking a lot better for him. He is one of the best players in South Florida. I think just shy of PR territory in a really difficult region. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Florida. I mean, I was talking with Bam yesterday. Florida is such a talented region. I mean, it's just there's so many killers in there. And uh, being able just under that radar is just, it tells a lot. Should be able to make it back from this. Yep, just having the distance there. Mars unable to reach him. Oh, Sometimes intimidating to challenge PK Thunder, even when it's Ness's. All right, Lucas's rather. Oh, yeah. Don't want to take that damage, but the Plasma Whip always gets the job done here, and that's uh, probably one of the bigger changes for Zero Suit. Uh, very reminiscent of the uh, Brawl Plasma Whip. Yeah, more of a reversion than a change, really, you know? Just yeah, going true. back to the good old days of that move. Yeah, and it's uh, it's really nice on Ledge Traps, too, because it can cover roll with the weak hit. You, it's a lingering hit, can catch normal get up or possibly even jump, and you're poking at a very safe distance. One yeah, of the reasons why I think uh, Zero Suit can do well versus Snake. Definitely a fatty hitbox, too. Yeah. Nice and tall. Oh, Mars with some really creative combos, too. The fair into f -tilt. I like that. Yeah. I just love the... Ooh, okay, there's the back throw. And wow, Choco Taco really reverting this... Uh, how, how the pacing of this game is going compared to game number one. Yeah, that new animation on Luke's back throw is super clean, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Ooh, very, I very flashy. love that the parry, but no, nothing off of it. Mars using flip jump to escape combos, being that it's invincible early on. Definitely a great play. Yeah, that's one thing, I mean... One thing I feel like a lot of some of the other top tiers have is their out of their out of parry options are so crazy. Like sometimes Fox will parry you and deal 50 damage, but then like there's characters like Lucas, they nail a parry and they get a singular up tilt and that's kind of it. And that, that's such a big deal in this game. Yeah, especially having a slow grab. Even if he had good bread and butters out of that, he wouldn't be able to land them. At least in most situations. But wow, Mars just sneaking right underneath the PK freeze, gonna close it out with boost kick. Well on his way, He's taking a 2-0 victory here. But Choco Taco still in this by all means, 43%. He could just beat him up a little bit and land a crazy PK freeze off the stage or one of Lucas's high-powered smash attacks. Yeah, and that's the one thing that separates really the, the good from the great, you know, when it comes to like super top players and players that are on the come up. Um, Mars did not give him the respect. He, he kept the spacing close and he just knew exactly when and where to get that punish sneak right under the PK freeze and took that snock 
right under Choco Taco's nose, but the snipe! Ooh. Woo! All right, Choco, and this is pretty much back to even. You know what's funny, man? Choco, also the name of the best Zero Suit Samus player in Japan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. oh, no remorse from <laughs> Mars, though. The neutral air right into the down B. That is the classic, man. Been seeing yep. that for years, and it still works. Can't take that away from Zero Suit. No, absolutely and not. And there, there's the kick and the flip, man. <laughs> yep. He flipped, and then he kicked. And that kick still very, very powerful. <laughs> uh, even with the double jump or recovery, Lucas can definitely make it from the very depths of the blast zone, but just going to get obliterated from the kick, and even at 50%, man. And uh, that's the one thing about Zero Suit. you got to be so careful of where you position yourself. You never want to get hit by that falling there, especially by the edge of the stage, because that's your life. Right. I mean, I think the devs realize, you know, even if we take out her uh, ladder combos, she could still find a kill confirm at those super, super low percents and yeah. make it work for herself. So Zero Suit, absolutely still something to fear, regardless of the damage you see on the screen. Right, right. And I, I mean, I, I appreciate that. I, I know uh, not many of the meta characters survived the snap, the ultimate snap. No, but... Um Guess Fox what, did. man? Zero <laughs> suit. Yeah, Fox certainly did. Fox, Pika, Peach. They, they, they like barely got touched, if not just better. Yeah, and you know what? Pika and Peach were not on that caliber, right? They were like high. They're, they were like yeah, high tier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like kind of right under the cusp. Depends who you ask, though. Esam, of course, would always say, you know, Pika's busted, right. regardless of the game. It's been saying that since Brawl. So mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Based on his results, it's really hard to argue with him. Just could oh, be yeah. that nobody else is on his level with the character or shares that understanding. And then Captain L was really doing some work. At the yeah, got a set on Leo and stuff like that. Uh, so right. Pika definitely was still a force to be reckoned with towards the end, but definitely not compared to some of the other characters like Bayonetta and Cloud. For sure. Um, and then, of course, we, uh, we had Samsora still doing really well at the end of Smash 4 with Peach.